Hello and welcome to my next smartwatch review. Today we are going to have the DT Model X smartwatch. Now I ordered this with my own money from AliExpress because this watch looked pretty new and like it has some unique features in it, um, including just the style of it. And this should, uh, it, they advertise it as holding MP3 so you can tether this with a set of earbuds and listen to music directly from the watch. Uh, this one came with a spare band, which is kind of nice. Let me open the box, show you what comes out of the box. And if you've never seen my reviews, then you don't know the introduction part of this video is just to show you what comes out of the box. Then I'll go charge this, wear it for several days, and come back with my uh, full review and honest opinions. The app here is going to be Wear Pro, W-E-A-R Pro. Uh, There's the DT watch, and uh, like I said, this is the Model X. I have not seen this reviewed on the internet yet, so hopefully I'm going to get the scoop on this before anybody else. Um, you have the watch. It's a beautiful looking case. Uh, I think it's going to look pretty good on the wrist. Now, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Um, I like the looks of it. And these two little, the way these buttons are kind of offset here, I think is kind of kind of neat. It's definitely unique. This, uh, wow, has two bands on the inside, a black silicone band and a faux brown leather band. And then it has a charging cable. Oh, this is a charging cradle. That's really nice. I like cradles better than... Uh, the little snap-on connectors. And then let's see, uh, there are, huh, no instructions in the box whatsoever. So that's interesting. Um, that's what comes out of the box. Let me go away and charge this. Like I said, wear it for several days. Let me press this button, see if there is any battery life in this thing. Um, oh, whoa, that just surprised me. It's making a lot of noise and it came to life. There you go, there's one of the displays. If I press and hold there, I should be able to swipe uh, to some other displays here. Now that one looks like it's in, I'm gonna guess Russian. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, wow, um, yeah, it's different displays. This is the one you kind of see in the advertisements with this little gear turning in here. Uh, again, I'm going to go charge it up, wear it for several days, and come back with my full, fair, and honest review. All right, so I've been wearing this watch for a while now, and the first thing I want to show you is the always-on display, and then we will go into the settings and extend the display of this. But here you see an analog clock looking smartwatch, and you can set this to come on and stay on only between certain hours. You can set the always on display to come on and stay on for like 5, 10, or 20 minutes, or you can choose always. Um, and there are a couple different styles. So if you're looking for an always on display smartwatch, this one, this one might be for you. The looks of the watch, uh, you know, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So I'm going to now turn the screen time up to uh, 60 seconds for the purposes of this review. It's in the eye of the beholder, beauty is, because this has a sort of a printed set of numbers in blue and white going around the bezel. That's a permanent setting there. That's not part of the uh, watch face, the digital watch face. That's a part of the hardware. And then you have these two buttons that are at angles. It almost looks like a horned owl or something. but. You know, I've come to appreciate these because that makes the buttons pretty difficult to accidentally bump or press in real life where you've got four brightness settings, one, two, three, four, and I guess actually zero, but it's very dim, it's still there. So there would be one, two, three, four. So I guess technically there's five different settings. Um, here is the info, and I'm very confused what to call this watch. I've seen it advertised as the Watch X. I've seen it called the DTX Watch. I've seen it called the DT Watch X. And here it's saying it is the C Model C171 smartwatch. So, uh, you know, you will see this advertised as different things. So keep that in mind. This will support TWS earbuds, and I've tested this, and it works well. 
uh, when you want to play music, you can ha either have it played uh, by the phone or this has speaker, speaker and microphone built in. You can play it to the watch and you can go into TWS mode. All right, uh, that works. That works well. I've been paired with it, and uh, if any, if I have any complaint about the music on this watch, is that it's maybe heavy on the bass through the earbuds, and there's no uh, equalizer adjustment. Other than that, it works pretty well. Here you can change the way your menu system is. Uh, now I forget where I was. I think it was this fan that I like and am used to. Um, here is your vibration strength. All right. If we swipe up, we can get to our text messages. That will just throw it in from your phone when tethered via Bluetooth. It works. I've tested it. It works fine. Now, you get a nice display on the front. This is a 1.43 inch AMOLED HD display. Um, I like the looks of it. It's nice and bright and easy to read. There's no graininess whatsoever that I can tell. It's got that uh, always on display option as I talked about. This has a 390 milliamp hour battery and uh, the app is called Wear Pro. W-E-A-R-P-R-O. We'll go jump into that in a minute here. It has heart rate, blood pressure, SPO2, uh, sleep tracking, step tracking. If we swipe from right to left, we get our activity steps for the day here on the outside ring. Uh, then it's uh, estimated travel or distance walked. And then the inside ring is your estimated kilocalorie burn. Here is your heart rate in beats per measure. All right, and what I found with this watch is you have to slide it up on the wrist a little bit, get it back behind that, that wrist bone a good bit, and then it seems to take the measurement consistently. So keep that in mind with all of these smart watches. You have to wear them properly for them to work. All right, so that had 98 beats per minute. Here is the forecast for today. Just today, um, it gives you your, your high and your low. Um, and here, instead of saying weak UV or partly cloudy, it says feeble UV. So, you know, things don't always translate uh, perfectly from Chinese into English. Here is your mobile player. You can play. Uh, you can play it to your earbuds, like I said, or locally it has speakers. I don't want to play you music because I'll get a copyright strike, but trust me, it does work. All right. Here is that SPO2 measurement. I'm going to let this go in real time. This also has the red diode sensor in it. So it's got both the green and the red. And I think the red, in my opinion, is better at measuring uh, blood oxygen saturation or SPO2. Now, it should be noted this is not a medical device. So don't trust any of this data as health, real health information. Um, you know, it's not a medical device. Don't treat it as such. Don't make any health decisions based on the data it provides. So we've kind of swiped all around the main dials here. All right. And we're back to the beginning. Uh, you swipe down and you get to uh, that sort of shortcut menu and all the settings in here. If you go back to the main screen, screen and press that top right button a second time, you get into your sports modes. It's got a bunch of sports modes in here. Now, it's not an overwhelming number or variety of sports modes, but it does have them. This is not a GPS watch, so the only way you would get tracks or any sort of map is if you engaged in an outside walk or hike when tethered to your phone via Bluetooth and you started the activity through the app on the phone, then it will pull in that data. Otherwise, you're just getting uh, steps, uh, estimated kilocalorie burn and estimated distance walked or hiked or time engaged in the activity. If you're not walking at any of these other ones, you'll just get your time engaged, your heart rate trace and estimated kilocalorie burn but it does have these sports modes so keep that in mind not an exhaustive list here is your heart rate which we demonstrated here's your dial pad when tethered via bluetooth you can use this as a speakerphone and obviously you have to be within bluetooth range of your phone to make and uh, take calls right from the watch itself it's got that built-in microphone and speaker i've tested that it works well 
Here is that progress bar of your activities for the day. Here is your sleep tracking uh, for the previous night. Here is that weather. Here's that blood oxygen saturation. Here is your music player that we looked at already. And um, that it's pretty cool. Maybe I'll go into settings and run the risk of a copyright strike, but there's some breath training. There's AI voice you can use, your sports history, uh, your contacts. If you choose to sync your contacts and give the app permission to pull in the contacts from your phone, you'll have those all right here. I did not do that. A recent call log, uh, your messages, it's got a calculator, it's got a voice recorder, that works. It's got some games in here. And it's got a few different games. I'm not a game guy, but there's one called uh, Colorblind Card, which it's, I don't know if it's a, really a game or a colorblind eye test, but you choose the square that's slightly different color than the rest, and the squares get smaller and smaller as you go. And uh, sometimes you're differentiating very, very minimal shades of basically the same color. Um, and you get to the end and it gives you some score. Oh, wow, this is getting tough now. Um, that one. Oh. Maybe it's... I don't know if I'm sweating or what. But uh, anyways, it's got some stuff in there. It's got Flappy Bird, some Snake Game, Tower of Hanoi, Number Puzzlers, Sokoban. I don't know what those are. But it's got some games. You can set some alarms on here to vibrate and wake you up. It's got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five different alarms you can set. All right. It's got a stopwatch. It's got a countdown timer. You can use this as a flashlight, which simply means when you do that, it lights up all the pixels so you can see in the dark. It's got a find your device um, a feature here. It has a camera. It's not a camera in the watch. This is it. Think of it as just triggering, triggering your shutter on your camera on your phone. So when you're tethered via Bluetooth, uh, if you set your phone up on a tripod, you aim it at whatever you want a picture of, and then you stay within Bluetooth distance. You can trigger a photo to be taken from your watch. You can get into your settings again, and we were here already. Uh, that music mode, let's go to local mode here. Call cannot be answered in this mode. That's okay. Uh, that's what we want. This is one of the rare smart watches where you can set the time and date right from the watch itself. So before you leave those nasty comments, I won't say nasty, but I always get comments, how do you set the time and the date? And usually the answer is sync it to your phone. Most of these smart watches get the time and date from your phone. Not this one. This one you can set the time and date directly on the watch. So uh, keep that in mind if that's something you like. You can set your vibration strength of the watch, your brightness, your view mode, that was that menu style that we looked at earlier. Change the language. You can put it in do not disturb mode. Power save mode. You can lock it. You can switch video. All right, and it's got a little animated video when it boots and another one when it shuts down. Here is USB mode. And uh, if you want to transfer files onto the watch, uh, you would put it in mass storage mode. And then you can uh, move the files, MP3 files, from your computer or your device via the connected cable, the magnetic charging cable, and just drag them and drop them right onto the memory of the watch. It's got four gigabytes of ROM. Um, so keep that in mind. And then when you connect on the charger in that mode, you can transfer files. When you're in charge mode, it will simply charge the watch. There's your about uh, screen again, and it just says product name C171. It gives you some more information, and uh, that's about it. You can shut down, reboot, and reset. Now, um, if we press that button twice, and we swipe through and go to uh, what will be the... Let's see here, where is it? Photos? It comes with some stock photos on the watch. Now, when you're reading the description, it says photo album, and it gives you the impression that maybe you can drag all your photos over here and keep your own personal photos on this watch. That is not the case. I've tried dragging lots of files to the watch 
onto the actual memory of the watch and you cannot add your own photos only this default photo album and you can set one of these as the background but you cannot add your own photos same with video there are two little cheesy chinese dance videos here but you cannot add your own uh, mp4s or video formats onto the watch and have those play so i think the advertising is a bit misleading they seem to imply that it's got a photo album and uh, videos that you can play back well it's true that you can play back videos and that you can look at photos but only the default ones that come on the watch you cannot add your own so keep that in mind let's go look at the app now, as already mentioned, the app is named Wear Pro, W-E-A-R-P-R-O, all one word. Um, it is a basic app, and my bottom line, I'll give you that right out of the gate, I don't like it because it serves up ads right in the app itself. Uh, you can drag down to sync with your watch. There is a dial market, so you can get some different uh, dials if you so wish. Uh, says nothing hot, nothing new. Uh, dynamic watch faces. I'm not sure what's going on here. You can customize. Maybe if I turn on my Wi-Fi, let's see what happens there. Um, yeah, it's not not finding any watch faces. So, oh, there's an ad that it popped up here. Now on the upper right, I have to say, continue to the app. That's cheesy. I hate when companies just embed ads right into the main app for a watch. It just kind of ruins the whole user experience. Here is your sleep analysis from the night before. Deep sleep, light sleep, REM sleep, awake times. And you can scroll back over the previous days, weeks, and months and see how your sleep was. You get a sleep score. And as you can see, I've been wearing this watch for a number of days. Here is your heart rate. Here is your blood oxygen saturation. Now you have to take these on demand. These will not take themselves automatically. Keep that in mind. And here is a 28-day menstrual cycle tracker. Um, and that's about it. There's your exercises and exercise logs and uh, some courses you can take and which exercises to do. You can get into your device settings all those days. And I've got, well, you know, it hasn't been all those days. 70% battery life, but I have had this connected uh, via the cable to add songs and I have recharged it overnight a couple times so um, there is that but you should get at least I would say three to five days of normal use out of this thing on one charge um, here now the watch faces are coming in alright so here are some ones that you can add alright some new some hot alright I just wasn't waiting enough time and let's Let's do one in real time here so you can see what this looks like. It's downloading it, it's installing it, meaning it's, it's pushing it over to my watch. And if I go over there and look, you can see that it's uploading it to the watch. Um, all right, so there is that dial I just uploaded to the watch. Pretty nifty. As we continue through the app, that's really about it. From watch faces, you can get into uh, some settings. Uh, you find your watch, Bluetooth calling and all that, alarms, you can do, do those from the app. Um, and then there's me, and you can set some goals. You can change your units from metric to imperial, Celsius to Fahrenheit, and vice versa. Uh, there's a contact here, permission settings. You give it permission as to what apps and features you want it to have access to. Um, you know, I don't want it to have access to my uh, calendar. So you can turn those things on and off as you wish. That's about it. Wear Pro, not a big fan because it serves up ads. Uh, let me come back in a few seconds with my full, fair and honest bottom line thoughts. Now this is a nifty little watch and as I stated, you're either gonna love or hate the design of it. It's got a nice metal back and there are all your sensors in there. So that's all pretty good. Uh, speaker, microphone. Uh, I like the watch bands, they're easily replaceable and they come out of the watch at a nice angle and they align smoothly with the bezel. So I like that look as well. Uh, you press that button, get things on to change watch faces. You can just press and hold in the center. I felt it vibrate and you can scroll through your various options here. 
um, and th this is kind of a mechanical look that's pretty neat although it seems to be fairly monochrome and uh, here's sort of a more dynamic one with flames and whatnot and a sweep hand that's pretty cool so it's got enough watch faces in here that I think you'll be happy um, this is the one I've been using because it's more comprehensive it's easy to read I can see my battery life I get the date I get the day I get the time I get my steps I get my kilo kilocalorie burn and estimate estimate of distance walked and my heart rate so all good stuff we're gonna go out on a limb here folks and we're go going to go into the music and I'm gonna hit play and I'm just gonna give you a little snippet of that song to let you hear it because I don't want a copyright strike all right but it does store music locally and you can listen to it on the watch or send it to your Bluetooth earbuds when connected. So my bottom line, this watch right now is selling on AliExpress for about $27.44. I, I like it. for If it's got the features you're looking for at that price, I'd say it's a pretty good value, but don't be deceived if you think you can add your own videos and photos because you can't. You're stuck with the stock ones on the device uh, and right now this bottom right button will just pr basically turn the watch off the, the the display off but since I'm in always on mode here I will get this watch face but um, I think it's a solid value for the money as long as you've got the right expectations and as long as you don't mind the looks of it um, I think I wore it all week in a professional setting I did not feel self-conscious about it at all I f I think it looks good I have no problem with the looks but it's probably not everyone's cup of tea either so there you go this channel is primarily about kayaking and uh, I make high-end racing kayaks and I like to review anything related to health and fitness and I've gotten onto a smartwatch kick so if you want to see all those reviews, I think I'm up clo probably close to 150 smartwatch reviews at this point. You can check those out on my smartwatch and fitness tracker playlist on YouTube. Otherwise, you can follow my kayaking adventures at DaveTheKayaker.com. Until next time, be healthy, stay fit, and... Uh, Let's talk soon, all right? Thank you so much for stopping by and giving me a little bit of your time and attention. I appreciate you more than you know. Go ahead, leave a comment, click that like button, subscribe, and that helps me spread the word. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak made in the finest American tradition, or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history, You want a West Side Boat Shop Kayak, now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. West Side Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.